Okay, hi everybody. We're gonna talk today about the best brownies that you can eat almost as much as you want, whether it's a gluten-free recipe or not. So it's really exciting. This is sort of dedicated to uh, Trisha, Jen, and Stacy. They're the ones who invited me over for a day of wonderful food and a great time. And they made these different brownies. One was beet brownies, one was black bean brownies, and one was a Mexican brownie with cayenne pepper in it. Never had them before. All the kids, adults who didn't know what was in it, everyone loved it. So I tried to make this recipe a little bit more condensed. And so this is actually has beets and uh, black beans in the brownies. It's really good when I've made it before. Um, people don't always know what's in it. They never know what's in it actually, but they may think it tastes a little different. So there's a lot that you can really do with this. If you're making it for the first time, you can use a little bit more agave for someone because what our palate is used to in our house is different than what people are used to, what you get at the store. This is one of the best pieces of equipment that you can have as a food processor. This is like a 14 cup and I love it and I use it all the time. So what we're gonna do is I always like to do my wet ingredients first. Uh, this is agave right here from the agave nectar. Um, you're gonna put this right in the processor. Okay, and then here's our black beans. You can use a can of black beans. You just, you want to drain the can and rinse out the beans. Otherwise it sort of can cause someone more gas, which obviously you don't want. Um, I just put whole apples in here. You may want to, or if you want to cut it, then what you would do is just cut it like this and you know take out the core a little bit. But we don't really do that too often. Okay, the beets, it calls for two medium beets. This is like one large beet, so we'll just use this one. I just cut it in half. Uh, I boil the beets, take off the skins, and then put it in. Um, I haven't really used canned beets for it, but I suppose you could. Uh, definitely don't use pickled beets. And so put that in here. Okay, this is coconut oil. Uh, coconut oil is one of the healthiest oils for you. It's very high in uh, saturated fats and lauric acid, which is great for the good fats in your brain. Uh, because of the temperature today, this is very uh, liquid. Usually if it's colder out, it will be a solid like white color. I'm just gonna pour that in here. Okay, you want this to be blended up really well where people aren't going to see chunks of beets and whatnot. So it's going to look like this. Okay, I don't really don't measure too much. The recipe that's going to be posted on the website, which is livinganointed.com. It's uh, living and then A-N-O-I-N-T-E-D.com. has a recipe section. This is uh, a brownie recipe. I don't measure much, but it does have recipes on there. And I just pour it. this in. This is vanilla. I use organic vanilla. This right here is our salt, our baking powder. Okay. And our cinnamon. Usually use about two and a half uh, teaspoons of cinnamon in here. Cinnamon really covers up the beet flavor. I'm gonna stir this back up. Okay, now putting in our raw cacao. Okay, the raw cacao that we're using is from Wilderness Family Nutritionals. It's an excellent source of uh, the raw cacao, the chocolate that we're gonna use. I'm also going to be using a uh, whole wheat flour today. Usually I use spelt flour. You can use coconut flour. You could use almond uh, flour. Uh, if someone has a gluten sensitivity, there's no dairy products in here. So there's no eggs. So if someone's a vegetarian. You don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to put this in here. Okay.
okay that looks good one thing i do add i'll just mix this in real quick is this is a uh, flax seed right here and you want your flax seed to be whole when you before you're going to use them you want to grind them yourself so the process of that is i use a coffee grinder i don't use coffee but i put the flax seed in here already and ground it up and i just pop it in here when i first made the recipe i did use a lot of flax seed in different uh, nutrients, trying to make it up for the mass for people to use. Um, I omitted that from the recipe, but you're welcome to add it back in there. We're also going to be using Young Living Peppermint Essential Oil. There's a lot you can do with the essential oils. Not only do they taste great, there's no other artificial anything or anything else added into these oils. And also, uh, there's no alcohol, so usually uh, if you have an extract, like a peppermint extract, it's going to be about 85% ethyl alcohol, where this is just straight peppermint. One drop of this is equal to 26 tea bags, so it's really amazing. So usually I put about four drops in mine. This will be the last thing we do. Okay. And now we're just going to pour it in here. My kids do like to eat this right off the, the spoon, so I'm sure someone will come and get that in a minute. And that's it. So this is what it's gonna look like when you put it in the oven. It cooks at 350 for about 25 to 35 minutes. Definitely test it with a toothpick. It's gonna feel like spongy. It's definitely gonna have a different kind of texture than a brownie, but you just don't want to pull up anything liquid. So just like a regular when you use a toothpick for testing things. But if you do touch it, it will be like a little spongy. Okay, so we'll come back in a minute so you can try these out. Okay, the brownies are done. And as you may be able to see, they've already been cut into before I got home. So luckily I got it right before they took a bite. But when you're testing it, what you want to do is just poke a toothpick in it, just like you do normally, and pull it up and make sure that there's nothing on it. And... You know, you just cut them into little squares here, whatever you want to do. It's going to be different. Say, oh, I tried this new recipe. And, you know, if you have to, you know, fudge a little bit and say, oh, put extra red dye in it, so it could look different, you know. I don't know. Figure out what you want to say. And remember, when you ask someone to taste it, just say, you know, what do you think about these? Do you think I put too much cinnamon? Because it's going to make them think about cinnamon before they even think about what may be in the food and you can always sprinkle a little bit of wolf berries on here you know make it look pretty around the, the plate or whatever we also add raisins to these the sun view uh, the wolf berries that are great very high uh, in potassium low in sugar great for protein other nutrients and of course you could add nuts to this if you like to so you really can make it be what you want to be so I call these the best brownies that you can eat, as many as you want. So once again, it's black beans, it's beets. Um, it has whatever kind of flour that you're going to put in there, so it can be gluten-free if you need it to be that. There's no dairy products in it. We use coconut oil um, and just the normal ingredients that you would normally use. And it just turns out wonderful. So I hope you like this recipe, and thank you very much.